All right. Part two. We're going to do one more simple inequality. By, by simple, I mean a single inequality. Here we're going to graph x squared plus y squared is greater than 9. You might recognize x squared plus y squared equals a positive number from the first chapter when we were studying the, the basic graphs, the basic uh, definitions, uh, how to work around the rectangular coordinate plane. This is a circle. This is a circle centered at the origin with a radius of 3. So that's what I'm going to do. And is it going to be a solid circle or a dashed circle boundary? Well, no or equal to, it must be dashed. So center at the origin, do a radius three units on all the way around. So from the origin, I could go up three, left three, down three, and right three, and dash in a circle. And just like all the others, either our solution is going to be all the points inside the circle or all the points outside the circle. Choose a test point, any point that the boundary does not pass through. Once again, 0, 0 is a great option. Is this true or is it false? Well, left side zero, right side's nine, zero greater than nine, that's clearly false. Remember, when the statement is true, you shade toward the test point. When it's false, you say shade away from it. Here my test point was inside the circle, but it failed. That means all the points inside the circle will fail yet all the points outside will not fail. So there's our solution, all the stuff outside the circle. All right, now we're going to see how to do a system of inequalities, two inequalities to start with. Let's go with, uh, pause. All right, sometimes my projector here at my school can't, kicks me out. So yours wait wasn't as long as mine. Here we go. X plus three Y is less than or equal to nine and 2x minus y is less than or equal to 1. So both of these are in standard form, so we'll look for our intercepts again. If x equals 0 in the first one, we have 3y equals 9 or y equals 3. Plot the point 0, 3. If y equals 0 in the first one, then we're going to have just x equals 9. Oh, okay, plot the point 9, 0, draw the line between them, 0, 3, 9, 0. Solid or dashed? Well, actually, both of our boundary lines are going to be solid. So, And then... I need to test a point because I need to know do I shade below and to the left of the line or above and to the right of the line. Origin works. Let's try it. Is 0 plus 3 times 0 going to be less than or equal to 9? Well, left side is 0, right side 9. Yep, it works. So I need to shade where my test point is. Here's my test point. It's below and to the left of the line. Shade below and to the left of the line. Not yet. 
I don't want to shade right now because I've got another boundary line to put in and another shaded region to put in and all the shadings could get confusing. So what I decide to do is I just make a little notation here and here at each end of the line to know which side I'm going to shade. I already know from my test point, I'm going to shade below and to the left of the line. I'm going to mark that. Little arrow there, little arrow there, showing me shading down, shading below and to the left. And I'll do the same thing with my other boundary line. If x is 0, I'm left with the opposite of y equals 1 or y equals 1. Plot the point 0, 1. If I let y equals 0, I'm left with 2x equals 1. Oh, x equals 1 half. Plot the point 1 half, 0, and 0, Oops, zero, negative one. Did you catch my mistake? I'm glad I did. Up here, opposite of y equals one means y equals negative one. Plot the point zero, negative one, and one half zero. It's a solid line because of the or equal to. And I need to test the point. If I test 0, 0, 2 times 0 minus 0 is less than or equal to 1, true or false. This side is 0, 0 is less than or equal to 1, that's true as well. So I shade that one toward the origin. Where's the origin? It's right here. It's above and to the left of the line. So I'll mark at each end to shade above and to the left of the line. You'll notice now, my two boundary lines divide the plane up into four group, four regions. One of the four regions gets shaded both times. The first inequality shades this region here and this region here. The second one shades this one and this one. This one gets shaded both times. That's where we find our solution. This doesn't work because it's shaded in the first inequality, not the second one. This one gets shaded in the second, not the first. That part over there doesn't get shaded at all. Only this is a part of our solution. All right? We're going to pause once more, come back in video three.